Hello everybody, I am Omega Recon Gaming. God damn it, Nintendo. You you blew your load too early. You couldn't wait until E3. You it's literally a week away. Why couldn't you wait? Oh you fools! It would have been a huge announcement if you said there's a new, uh, two new Pokemon games coming. But no, you couldn't wait one week. I know there's going to be more information at E3, at the Treehouse and all. But, woo, how big of a, a, a reveal would it have been at the, uh, the, um, the Treehouse? And, and, and they been, would have been like... Coming this fall, a new Pokemon game, or something, like, why did they have to release it in a direct? That was like five minutes. Just, so, okay, so let's talk about, you know, the first game that came out on the trailer. Pokemon Tournament 2. I don't give a sh about Pokemon Tournament 2. I mean, Deluxe. My bad. Pokemon Tournament Deluxe, or Pokémon Tournament, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> really? You want to port Pokémon Tournament? And you're going to add online battles? Was that not in the first game? Because if that was not in the first game, what the fuck? Like, a fighting game... T today that does not have online but this one does this deluxe version adds that feature I I just why like and they're adding new ca I'm sorry they're adding new characters to the roster like I saw four new characters and I'm just like Are you? At least Mario Kart Deluxe, you know, added battle mode, which, you know, I loved battle mode on the DS. Battle mode for the um, original Mario Kart on the DS was awesome. I loved it. I played so much of that. Um, and, you know, them adding battle mode and adding new characters and, you know, and new power-ups... You know, that's, you know, adding more. It's, a, you know, I consider that a beat to be enough to call it a deluxe edition to add more to it. So that's fine. But this, like, I was very slightly interested when they announced the first Pokemon tournament game. And how long ago was that? Like, a year ago? Has it been out more than a year? I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't, it's got to be at least one or two years. It can't be anything more. No. But, God, fuck, like. <sighs> how many people are going to buy it? How, how many people, how many people do you think are going to buy it? Honestly. Honestly? Really? There's so many better games. There's so many better games. So, okay, let's talk about what happened at the very end of the video. It was a small teaser for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. That's the name. Okay. They couldn't have called it, I don't know, Pokemon Earth. I don't know, just something better than Ultra. Ultra Sun and Moon. Like, like fucking really? <sighs> Whatever. Pokemon Comet. Something. Anything. Just. <sighs> Whatever. But there, there is good things. So there's gonna be. Um, new Pokemon. There's a whole new story. There's Pokemon that weren't in the last game. 
which the, hopefully they still keep Arcanine in it, because that that will be my main. And this time, I don't know, maybe. And it looks like they're doing something new to the uh, crystals. So, you know, honestly, the Pokemon Sun story, Sun and Moon story, did not interest me. Um, I played all the way through, and I just, I just didn't care about the story really. I didn't care about how. The only one I cared about was uh, the other dude rival, uh, the dog, the uh, oh god, what's his name? I always get, I always forget his name. Grin, gr gr I can't. Gr Gracian, great, gr Grin, uh, I can't, I can't remember. But he was the only like boy, and I can't remember his name. That's that's the sad part. Is he, he was the only character I really liked. No, he is the only character I liked in the entire game. I hated all the other characters. I didn't hate all the other. I hated Hal. Um, but all the other characters I found tolerable, and then I liked uh, the ri other rival dude. He honestly, he should have been just the straight up rival because Hal. Matt, my friend Matt likes Hal. I don't. I don't like him at all. Um, I feel like his personality is too one note. I feel like with the other dude, he was more serious, and he had more of a good, a better backstory. He had a backstory. I don't think we get much backstory for Hal, really. He's just a dude you beat, honestly, and I don't like that. I mean, compare him to Hugh, who I love. First of all, Hugh's theme is awesome. The, uh, the uh, guy, uh, the vi uh, rival you fight in Black 2 and White 2. His theme is awesome. But, uh... I th you know, I think... I think Sun and Moon and X and Y suffer from rival... Too, like, too many rival syndrome. I mean, X and Y had, like... Four... And the only one I liked was Serena, which was, she was the main one that you fought with. Them. And I liked her the most. Um, but I mean, honestly, I hate, you know what, I, I will say, I hated the rest of them. I did not like a single one. They're dumb and annoying. And I just like, just let me go. Just let me, just let, just come on. Just let me keep going. And then when I found Serena, I was like, oh, okay, hi, okay, fine, we'll battle. She was the only one who gave me a challenge. They only had like one or two Pokemon. Serena had, like, more than that. And she was a challenge. Anyways, besides the fact. So, Ultra Sun and Moon is going to have some new stuff in it. Hopefully, it will actually... Because it Sun and Moon did not live up to the hype. It's a 8 out of 10 game. That's what I'll say about it. I have barely touched it since... Um, you know, since I, since after I beat it, I've barely touched it. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. There's the battle tree, but that's fucking hard as shit. I've tried many, many, many tries to beat the battle tree, and I've not gotten to, and I just gave up because I just, fuck it. At least with X and Y, the after game story, you had, um... To do the looker stuff. And the looker stuff was awesome. I mean the ending. The ending was awesome. To it. Um, so. I think though. So for Sun, Ultra Sun and Moon. I look at these. Legend the legendaries. The Soliano and. Solio and. I can't, you know what, from Sun and Moon, I forgot so many of the names of the Pokemon. They're just gone. Like, gone from my memory. I can look at the Pokemon and say, yeah, I've seen that one. Or, But, like, their names, if you just held it up, I'd just go, most of them I would just go, I have no idea what that is. 
that's the problem with uh, Sun and Moon is a lot of it's f extremely forgettable. The story's forgettable. The Pokemon are forgettable. I mean, it does improve on a lot of things, but at the same time... And how? I hate him. So when a lot of that stuff sucks, but it does also improve on a lot of other things. So, Ultra Sun and Moon, you got a lot of work to do. And, like, the after game that was promised to be good in Sun and Moon, non-existent. The plaza is not fun. Not fun at all, in fact. It's actually very boring. Though, Sun and Moon did one good thing extremely well. The bond for my Pokemon was extremely strong. That's because, you know, you take the how you were taking care of them in this game was different. And I loved it. And I hope they expand upon it a bit more and not drop it like a rock. I would love... And Nintendo, add more save files. Come on. And why is it such a convoluted way just to delete a save file? Why? You're telling me you can't come up with a better way to delete the entire save? Like, are you fucking serious? This is... Just fucking... Oh, just fuck. And this has been for years they haven't found a way to fix it. And there's not multiple... Like, I want to play the game multiple times, but I can't unless I delete all the stuff that I have. And what if I have lots of good stuff that I don't want to lose from my previous games? I'm fucked. I have to go buy another version just so I can play it over and over and over again. It's just so fucking stupid. There needs, in Ultra Sun and Moon, there needs to be more than one save file. Two would be fine. Just give me more than goddamn one. Even if they give it to you as a, as a, after, you know, beating the game. I'm fine with that. Just please. Please, please. And my friends agree with me on this too. Add another goddamn save file. Come on, Nintendo. Oh. I also, I, if I haven't already said it, I hate the legendary beast, the upgraded legendary beast designs. I, I, I don't like them. Like, you just gave it like a mask and shit. I'm just like, are you fucking serious? And, 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 and it's for the 3DS. For the, for the 3DS? Are you, are you serious? The 3D. As much as I don't want to abandon the 3DS, it doesn't have enough power anymore. It barely runs Sun and Moon. They had to take stuff out of it just to fit it in the game. If it to make the game run. Like, how are you gonna fit the sequel or whatever? to it like 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 what put it for the switch put it for the switch you'll have you could do so much more with it. the power will be like and it's on the go just like the three like make it like if you really want to make it for the 3s2 that's fine just also make it for the switch i'm telling you Oh, my fucking... Come on, Nintendo. I'm waiting for that Nint that Pokemon game. I don't care about Pokemon Tournament for the Switch. Put Pokemon for the Switch. Hell, we people would probably settle for just a port. Like the Pokemon Sun, the Silver and Gold. Put that on the Switch. Why not? Come on. Like... Oh, just, God, God damn it, Nintendo. I love you guys. So I want you to succeed, but you make so many boneheaded decisions. Like the headset, the online service that has to be connected through the phone. Like, 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 the, the voice chat. 
just, just come the fuck on. You just, I want you to succeed so badly, but you just keep screwing up. You make a lot of good moves, but at the same fucking time, I can't allow you to just shovel terrible ideas. Here's a good idea. Put Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon on the Switch. As well as the 3DS. If you really want to put it on, make it both parties so you can put it, make it, like, just like what you did with uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The more powerful version would be on the Switch. It would be less restricted. And I'm telling you, man, can you imagine with, like, Legend of Zelda, like, graphics? Holy shit. Man, I'm just like, like, that, that, I just, just like, holy, like, yes. Nintendo, you need to relax. I know you're building hype for your E3, but I'm telling you, if you would have just said at E3, you would have said the, you know, did the poke, like, a big Pokemon reveal at the E3. That would have been bigger. But, I mean, I mean, I guess I'm, I should be happy that it's there, at least, and... Last, oh my god, last E3 with Pokemon was god awful. They told us almost nothing about Sun and Moon. So, hopefully they'll give us more. Nintendo really needs to go all out with titles at this year's E3. They need to do it. I know that's probably not what's going to happen, but it's what they need to do. They need to do what Sony and Microsoft are doing and show off a lot of games. Because people don't care about the system. They care about the goddamn games. <sighs> Honestly, I think the 3DS is on its death door. Honestly, I don't really care about the 3DS. I think it's lived its life. I think they just need to just move on to the Switch. Honestly, it's a hybrid console that, you know. So, uh, it just it just puts a bad taste in my mouth. I want you know what they should have done for the trailer if they really would have made us happy have a more in-depth trailer for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon that's what people care about I guarantee you you will see more sales of Ultra Sun and Moon than there's gonna be a Pokemon I like huh like, like what the f just so infuriating just to watch them just they just don't understand like and this isn't just my opinion most of it is my opinion but like it's just common sense too oh, yeah. I mean they're doing better than Microsoft so I guess that's a thing they're gonna release their talk about Scorpio at this E3 which I don't care about because I don't care about Microsoft. Honestly, they lost me at Scalebound. You know, you know when when that got canceled, I've lost all faith, all faith. I mean, I never intended to get an Xbox One really, but that just that was the nail in the coffin, right there it was the nail in the coffin that said, "Uh oh, pull back." No, 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 no. I mean, I got a PlayStation, and I got my Switch, and I got my handhelds. I don't need an Xbox One. If I want third-party games, hopefully, eventually, I can go play it on the Switch or my PlayStation 4. I'm comfortable with either, honestly, at this point. Oh, they said that they're going to be talking about Splatoon 2 and ARMS and Pokemon at the E3. I don't care about Splatoon. ARMS, I did enjoy playing the beta. Pokemon, given. I'll, I'll play it. 
They better goddamn bring it at E3. That's all I gotta say. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys at E3. Or not. Probably will.